Brenda, how special was it to have two of your players go in the first round of the WNBA draft? It's an incredible honor. I mean, when you talk about, uh, you know, the first round and to have two go so high and to stay on the East Coast in our backyard with Shatori to the Mystics and, you know, Brianna to the Sun. So we're really, really happy for the, the two of them. They put in so much hard work. Why do you believe that both of your players can have success at this next level here on the East Coast? Well, you know, it's a big thing for our staff is to prepare our kids for the next level. I mean, that's why they come to Maryland is that dream and, and that opportunity. So when we can continue to fulfill that dream through a lot of hard work and development, I mean, it's a, a really incredible night. As you pointed out earlier, four Big Ten players went in the first round. What does that say about the conference as a whole from a coach's perspective? You know, it speaks volumes uh, as a whole. I mean, when you talk about... You know, four of the first nine picks out of the Big Ten. And, uh, you know, again, just the competition that we face every single night, um, how we translate into the league at the next level, and, you know, these young women just living out their dreams. And if you had one lasting advice for your players as they continue their careers and their lives, what would it be? You know, just continue to do what they do, which is put their head down and work, and great things will happen for them. All right, Brenda, thank you so much for the time. Congrats. All right, thank you so much.